the WCS Shanghai. Um, mm-hmm. That I believe he got to the round of 32 in that, and so it's just he's doing phenomenally well. So I'm excited for the 2016 for him and see how far he's going to be able to get. And uh, and you know, not, not just Salem Shkoski. I've casted before for my rival, uh, the clan rival, and so he's doing very well for himself as well. So anyway, so this is going to be a best of three. This is game number one, spawning in our bottom left position. It is our purple Protoss player from uh, rival, the clan rival. It is Koski. And their opponent spawned in all the way to the top right here on Dusk Towers, representing Sidestorm Gaming. We have, of course, Plea Plea. Uh, I'm pretty sure, though, just for the record, um, Koshki is a, a female, isn't she? She's a streamer, isn't she? Ooh. Just because, you know, it's a bit disrespectful to call them he if they're um, a girl. I'm pretty sure, though, because they stream. A girl master and they're in, player. And they're in a, you know, they're in the chat as well. Like, I've seen a... Let me just, I'm just double-checking the stream. Yeah, it's... So go. Just because I like, I don't want to say he. Oh, he, yeah, yeah, not a problem. Yeah. No, but that's awesome. I'm, I'm not familiar with Koski. I could have sworn Koski was a was a was a dude, but hey, I mean that's just my ignorance of you know, thank it, you know. Anyways, so that's that's good. That's awesome. I'm I'm glad that uh I'm glad you know the people that are joining into this tournament are people that are being recognized, people that you know are streaming and are mm-hmm. are in the community. I mean, this is what this uh, tournament is all about. Just. This tournament is for the community, and so super excited for that. And but it is a pro, you know, PVP, which I th- I don't know what's hated more, ZVZ or PVP. I think collectively that all Protoss players hate playing against Protoss. So I'm gonna be um, excited to see what they do. They used to. I think they find it a little bit more exciting now because it's it, it is a little bit more exciting. Even to cast, I think it's like really can be really quite hype um, when it comes down to the disruptors. Fair enough, the compositions are a bit ugh. Because it's sometimes a lot of disruptor stalker, um, but you can mix it up. Like disruptor stalkers is what you need if your opponent goes for the same thing as well, because you have to do- dodge the disruptor shots. And, you know, blink is the, you know, the absolute best ability to do that. But we have a good scout here coming from Pili Pili. His nexus was a little bit later, so he opted for the tech first, and his cybercore is about to finish with that double gate. He has walled off as well, so he has a slightly better defensive posture here, but. You know, sometimes it has absolutely no effect on the game. You know, if he's the aggressor, it doesn't matter. And Koski has gone for a very defensive build and placement. But nothing crazy coming out of these people. We've got... Okay, let me swap them over. There we are. Koski's going for the Stalker while... Plea Plea does go for the double Adepts. And, you know, Stalker's three Adepts is pretty much the same thing. So, like, in terms of fighting. So there's no real difference there, really. So what do you, what do you make? Because, like I said, I, you know, I play Zerg, but... I've never seen this um, building placements from Koski. What what do you make of that? Is that normal? Is that just to, for this pylon to defend really well? They could uh, pylon overcharge it. Like, it's just so weird being in this back corner like that. Is that? I don't, I find that really weird. But that's just uh, me. The two pylons are for the folks to overcharge, so like the entirety of the mineral line is covered, and she's just. Kind of putting the buildings next to the pylons. Like I, I kind of like it because everything's out of the way. You don't have to worry about, you know, chokes and stuff like that. Um, so I kind of like it. And, and Protosses have kind of learned to do this because of Reapers from Terrans anyway, uh, where we had to wall off quite innovatively. <laughs> but okay, there's the transfer in coming. Two stalkers at the natural, and he's going to targetify the workers here until he can transfer. And he is getting quite a number of them. There's four. Sentry has. Oh no, that's explosion. It gets picked off. That's a. That's a good snipe there, and actually, Plea Plea's going to get even a couple of quickers. Once we're out of the gas, there's the Falcon Overcharge, and both Adepts do get sniped there, but seven workers and a sentry is brilliant for the two Adepts. That's so good. And he's up by ten workers now, off the back of that. Yeah, so it's the Adepts with that shade, and it just gets so uh, annoying, is what I would do as a Zerg player, but yeah. I mean, it's such good. You could just send the shades in for scouting, gives you that scout. And then it also, and then you can pull it back and not lose the units. I mean, it's those adepts are just really good in that sense. But we do see that uh, Koski is going for you know more gas. But we do you know, there is a gas uh, that was built, but there's no probes on it yet. So we'll see if she um, decides to start filling it with probes or not. Um, but behind us, we do see that the uh, blink coming in for a uh, for Pilly Pilly on top of like look how many gateways he just threw down as well. Yeah, he's he's powered pretty hard right now. Um... He is also going for the Dark Shrine, and the Robo is about to finish up. So we should see a Warp Prism, maybe an Observer first. 
followed by the wolf prism. If it's a wolf prism, I believe he'll probably he might all in. Like the thing is, he can also drop DTs, so it's not guaranteed. But with this many gateways, with you know, the blink upgrades, he's he's playing for you know a nice time in here, and I think he's most likely going to go for that. He's dropping the pylon now in the center of the map on the high ground, so you know, it, it's looking like it. There's the the wolf prism queued up. The DTs can get sent in first, and sometimes they. Um, they, they throw the player into like crisis mode, like they've got to do all these things, they've got to stabilize, and then next then, you know, he's he's attacking you with like 20 blink stalkers or 10 blink stalkers, and you have no response, you know, so I think that's probably what's about to happen. The TTs should go in first. Okay, there's some units getting warped in, then wait for the DT shrine to finish up. I want the DTs. God, they take so long from buildings which aren't next to a, to a freaking... Uh, what do you call it? A gateway. Okay, I had a huge lag spike. There we are. Okay, so here's the war prism. So I guess he's gonna he's gonna warp in the DTs from the war prism, so have a slower warp in. Wow, is anyone else lagging? Is that me? It's... Damn it, Raven. He's frozen on thin. Uh, God love this dank meme. All right, so I think I'm just gonna solo cast until Draven gets back. That's you know clearly a bit of an internet issue that, as opposed to, um, well, his computer could crash as well, I guess. But yeah, that's you know a technical error. And yeah, so what I can imagine the the warp prism should deploy in a second. Warp in the DTs because there's a smaller warp in time, and that's gonna head towards the main, and. You know, that, that, that's going to either be the distraction or what kills the player. Because the units might run up into the main to try and defend that. Pili, Pili will go into the natural, or technically the third, to kill that. And, you know, continue with his aggression. Or he might just, as soon as the player, like, looks at the DTs, he's just going to go for it. But he's actually going for the fight before the DTs get in. Yeah, he's targeting the immortal. And with the blink stalkers, oh man, with the blink, like, that's a lot of stalkers. Right now it's 13... 13 v7 and he did snipe the observer so the dts are going to get completely shrecked right now there's a cannon morphing in within the main base so that is some defense that's not going to matter the fortune charge onto the pylon most people get sniped and well the stalkers aren't really reacting to it, it it's not going to matter in the main base the dts also did kill off the cannon so there is no detection robo is being targeted so he will get caught and plea plea will win game Number one here in this best of five. This is still the round of eight, guys. So after this, we have Pili Pili v, v Major, a nice PVT. And then the winner plays a Zerg. So no more mirror matchups, which is somewhat nice. In the meantime, guys, don't forget, type in exclamation point Matarino. You can see it already in there. I've already done it myself. So I'm the the top donator. You guys have to come beat me now. Oh, wait, we got... No, I'm not the top donor anymore. It's dark as the void. <laughs> okay, but what you what you do, guys, if you're wondering how to actually do this, you you know, log in with your Twitch. Like at the top right, it has the Twitch button. Hit that. Log in, and then on the left hand side, it has a donate button and a, a leave button. Oh, sorry, it does have. Um, you have to join first, and then you hit donate, and you put in filthy seven, and that is the like donation coupon for this tournament, and then you just bump. You know, the prize money up and you know these players get more money and like that's it it's as simple as that but we are gonna jump into the next map in a moment's time i don't know if it's it's a veto system down to one map and then loses choice or if it's a predetermined map choice so you know koski could be thinking of the the map that she wants or one of them's just waiting for the other one <laughs> to create the lobby but sometimes you know you, you do get people expecting the other person to do it Okay, and uh, yeah, okay, there's the lobby. So, join through friends. I have Pilipli as a friend, so that's nice and easy for me. But yeah, huge shout out to um, Dark is the Void. I don't know if you actually had to donate extra money from your own funds there, because I thought it only gave you just one buck. Uh, but if you did donate an extra two on top of that, thank you very much, dude. It, you know, it, it adds in, right? And if we can get everyone doing that every week, yeah, that's that's actually a chunk of money. Uh, next week we do also have the uh, the global cup, 
which is no uh, requirements for your citizenship or anything like that. You can play wherever you are. And that should actually be a very good one. So we'll have all the players. Wait, is Draven... He's in the game. What? Yeah, so... He's back. Okay. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Hello. So it's... It's the most frustrating thing I think I've ever had to deal with. So for the past four or five weeks, the servers in Los Angeles, California are experiencing packet losses, the actual servers. Nothing to do with Blizzard, okay. nothing to do with my ISP. So randomly, I'll just get a packet loss and I'll drop for half a second. But it's so random where all day yesterday, I streamed for about 12 hours straight, no issues. Yeah. No problem. And then today, I've dropped three times. I'm like, what the flipping but Anyway, so yeah, it's not I my ISP. Is. It's just, I don't know. So they need to get their crap together. Anyway, so uh, what happened with game number one? Because I had to drop out. Uh, I was pretty much straightforward. <laughs> he just went for the attack with blinks, and warped in DTs into the base and killed. killed so Pilly's, Pilly's up one zero. Correct. Go awesome. So spawning in our bottom left position is our purple uh, protest player from Rival Gaming. It is Koski. And her opponents pointing up to the top right here on Orbital Shipyard, a two-player map representing Sistom Gaming. It's going to be a Pilly Pilly. It's the blue Protoss. And, you know, one more game here, he puts himself into the semis. He is going to have a very hard game there lined up for him. And he is going for a double gate. Ooh, before the Nexus as well. He's got two guys on one gas, probably going to put two on the other. So it, it, it kind of feels like some like a three gate stalker type of a build. Where you just, you, you quite like, you know, double stalkers into a third gate, into your know, most stalkers. And then your warp gate finishes, and then you just continue with the attack. Koski's gone for Nexus, so she is going to be um, open to a bit of a time in here. So this could be quite nice. We'll have to keep an eye if Pili Pili drops this Nexus, because that's the biggest indicator. Yeah, so again, so. with the, just this building position is so weird from Koski. I don't, maybe it's just because it's from behind like that. I personally would like having a wall up just preventing kind of a super aggressive attack, but. Uh, Koski does see this two gate with this a cybernetics core. Nothing is being built from the cybernetics core yet, uh, but like we said, it's probably going to be you know, like we said, you know, stalkers. There we go. But it's still one base from Pilla Pilly, and I don't know if Koski knows it's one base yet. I don't, like, she's just kind of chilling there, not really scouting around with that probe. She has to work of that. Ooh, um, I thought she would might maybe check the nexus once more just to make sure in case the probe is hidden. But as we can see, like Pilly Pilly, um, he is going to go up to that probably a fourth gateway at that proxy so you can get faster warp ins because that's going to be very vital uh, for this attack being successful and you know he's going to go up to at least three gates most likely four to max out his economy and oh. it's going for a robo okay so this is kind of like the patience v it's a little bit of a delayed version i guess but it's kind of like the patience v classic build from the ssl um but it's in a very obvious oh. spot and yeah and so the probe is going to see it and it's going to be like is going to be like okay what <laughs> She's not going to be able to shut it down though, because the units are already here um, for Pilly Pilly, and she doesn't outnumber him yet, so she, she can't actually push this. She's going to lose the worker, which isn't that big of a deal, because she gets the information, but you know, it's a bit annoying. Pylon's being added on for the Photon Overcharge, and does she have a mothership? Of course she does, but it's not that close yet. Oh, worker gets targeted over the Stalker there, and that was actually a very lucky move. Because if Pilly Pilly really wanted that, he could have maybe done something but we have the immortal in production now for Pili Pili. the robo for koski is only now in production and she doesn't have enough energy for a photon overcharger as of yet so only one of these pylons can be saved yeah it's with this muscle core that's about to finish or about to have enough energy for a, a pylon overcharge but i think what she's going to do is save it for this inner pylon that's being built right next to the next and just like lose both these pylons uh Pilly Pilly's most of course here has got enough for another uh, pylon overcharge and uh, so it's just gonna have a great defensive with that so there it goes there's the last of the uh, pylon overcharge from uh, Koski and that's gonna be it I don't think he's, she's gonna be able to defend this with an immortal oh, and is... four stalkers and two more excuse me three more coming up I think this is the it that's gonna kill Koski I mean there's really nothing's gonna do Wait, no what? pylon overcharge Okay, the Immortal just kind of runs forward there, tanking a ton of damage. Barrier gets dropped at the last second. Doesn't take any extra damage, so it didn't matter. And the workers get pulled. Some of them chasing down the Immortal. <laughs> He's running away. And the boat and overcharge. Oh, go on. You gotta get, get the it. Immortal. Get, get it. it. Oh, oh so close. And there goes the last bit of probes. And 
Yeah, this has got to be a game for Koshka. I mean, there's really nothing else she could do, but there's an Immortal coming out for Koshka, and maybe might be able to focus down this last bit of Immortal, but Philippe has another new Immortal, and that's it. There's, you know, nine Stalkers plus two Immortals. There's nothing I'm able to do, and GG 